welcome friends welcome to wikipedia so our aim is to learn and motivate others to learn so today's topic will be abs acrylonitrile butane stearine so it is the plastic used in the engineering field and uh, what all we will see today's topic uh, first one is what is abs and process and inspections of abs material and advantages as and disadvantages and finally we'll see the applications of the abs so let us go into the topic so what is abs abs is one of the thermoplastics with the resin number 7 we have seen about resin number in earlier videos also so once again i'll repeat here what is resin number so it is a resin identification number so there are two indentation of this number one is the end user can understand which material is used. So second one is this number indicates ease of recycling. If number one means it is very easy to recycle that material. If it is seven, it is little. It will take a little higher lead time or cost for a recycling process. The recycling process. This indicates by the resin identification number. ABS is a terapolymer made by polymerization of stearine, acrylonitrile and the presence of polybutane. Let us understand the raw material of this base. So all, all raw material is derived from the naphtha. Naphtha is the byproduct of crude oil. The crude oil processing, so at various temperatures it gives a byproduct from petrol, diesel etc. Naphtha is one of the byproduct, which is a, which is the only raw material for production of all plastics, majority of plastics. So for ABS also, this is derived from the naphtha. So now you can see the flow here. Naphtha, further it is converted into ethane, propane, butane, and ethylene, propylene, butylene, and ethylene is further synthetically made into acro acrylonitrile. And same way ethylene is converted as a as I, synthetically is to sterine and butane. So these all the raw material for making ABS plastics. So basic raw material is naphtha which is, a, which is the byproduct of crude oil. And like I said ABS is a low cost engineering plastic. It can be machined, painted, fabricated, thermoformed. This is the uniqueness of this plastics. It can be machined, painted on it, and fabrication can be done on it, and thermoform also can be performed on ABS. Now let us go into inspections. It is a low production cost and recyclable one. There are two processes majorly adapted in this plastics. One is injection molding, second one is thermoforming. So injection molding, you can see the right side small clip. That is a screw barrel is given where the granules will be just put inside it and it will be heated at various stages. So that heat it gets into liquid stage and in that area screw with a high pressure screw it is getting inserted and that molten material will be poured inside a mold so based on the shape it will be getting solidified inside it due to keeping for some duration as a cooling time so after that that solid part as i mean the final product will be removed from the mold this is what the process of injection molding <coughs> second process followed for abs is thermoforming you can see the video over here sheet of ABS is kept on the die, which is slightly heated and by pressurized air it is getting formed on the die as a replica, as a replica. So the final product will be coming out of die in the thermoforming. It is a low cheaper process and it does have it's not having more, more waste. So ABS can be performed in the thermoforming process. 
and the proportions can vary vary from 15 to 35 percentage of acronitrile and 5 to 10 percentage of butane and 40 to 60 percentage of stearine so based on the applications this combinations the ratio of combination can be varied in the raw material and inspection the raw material the density 1.06 and melting point so high melting point 200 to 240 degrees celsius and sore harness will be 83 and tensile strength will be 46 newton per millimeter squares so coming to pro final product what all we are checking is one is mfi mfi so mfi will vary from 2 to 10 because it's having various combinations so with different combinations having different mfi so this varies from 2 to 10 and heat resistance there will be a cycles the final product will kept at the at the i mean uh, at the temperature at 100 degrees celsius or minus 40 degrees celsius for a certain time period for four hours or five hours then it will be cooled into the room temperature and these cycles will be continued for two or three or five times based on the customer need so the deterioration of surfaces and the final product will be measured that will be the heat resistance cycle test same way this chemical resistance so same way the parts will be exposed to the chemicals various chemicals oil petrol water etc so that will be exposed for a certain time period and just removed from that chamber and such a cycles will be repeated for 5 10 5 10 15 times so this after these cycles product surface and the quality of a material in dimensional and metallurgy point of view will be measured so that will be the chemical resistant test <coughs> next coming to the advantages and disadvantages it, it has high impact resistance excellence temperature resistance structural strength stiffness and easy to paint i already explained about this one it's easy to paint and glue and good chemical resistance and great electrical insulation properties Disadvantages is poor fatigue and low UV resistance and poor friction and wear properties subject to stress crack and poor weatherability. These are the disadvantages of AB, ABS material. Coming to applications in domestic and household purpose, you can see various applications like all painted plastics, aesthetic plastics or uh, I mean all are made from ABS only like computer keyboards, refrigerator case, toys, you can see the holders where we just clamped on the wall, this is all made of ABS. Same way in vehicles, most of the exter exterior parts because it can be painted so that uh, matching this external body is painting, so this can be painted so the external body matching the external body is painting this ABS material used majorly and its rigid, rigidness is one of the reason these are the reasons we use this material in vehicle exteriors and in medical application you can see over here plastic ABS beds oximeter case medical device outer bodies so various look oriented aesthetic oriented rigid oriented areas this material is being used in all across the applications. Friends, hope you got basic idea about ABS material and its processes. Please like and share our videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.